Ladies and gentlemen, Melina, 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 darling. Now, the last video I did on here, I had talked about um, X with multiple partners. All right, I can't get too into it in this video because I don't want to set this one to adult too. But I'm going to set that to adult, all right? I was wearing the black hair. I was wearing the black hair in it. Uh, and I want to set it to adult because it's not like it's overly risque, but I want to make sure that I have my channel safe, obviously. Now, I wasn't getting into it graphically or anything, but I wanted to just say Leonardo DiCaprio had so many partners, right? And I'm sure I don't have to set it to adult, but I'm going to to keep my channel safe. But anyway, so yeah, so I just feel like, you know, I just want to add to it a little bit, not get into depth or anything, but I just want to say that whatever number of partners you have, I mean, some people have one partner. Actually, the funny thing was, um, my mother um, had had been, uh, she was she was young when she got married. She was, I think she was, uh, just give me one second, guys. She was 23 when she got married, okay? I think she was 23. I think she was that young. So she was 23. Sorry, guys, they're smoking in the building, so I, get, I can't breathe. But I'm not, I don't have asthma. I can't breathe because I'm smoking. Anyway, sorry, guys. I hate doing that. Anyway, so um, my mom was 23 when she got married. And I know she was young, but she wasn't that young, but she was young enough. Now, she, she had, one second, guys, the smoke is really bad. Give me one second. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry, guys, this video is terrible. All right, sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, so she, sorry. Anyway, guys, <laughs> um, so she was 23 when she got married, okay? And she had only dated my dad, okay? So right away when she was 23, she got married. She never dated anybody else, and she only was with him, right? But he was, like, drop-dead gorgeous. So even if you have, like, a million ex-partners, if nobody looks good, like, my dad was, like, really good, right? It wasn't like he was, like, a bad catch, right? I mean, so, you know, you just think to yourself, well, you know, he's very good. He looked great, and she was dating him only but like most people were jealous of her like all the time because she had such a good looking husband so they were jealous of her right so even though she dated only she only was one person you know she would she had the perfect guy right he looked amazing give me one second here. he looked amazing right so it's not like you have to have like nine thousand ex partners or whatever you want to do you could just have one really good one now in general, I think for the most part, people are, you know, if you're with someone, it's good. It's a good idea. <sighs> Sorry, guys. <sighs> They're smoking a lot, so I can't breathe. But anyway, it's a really good idea when you have, when you have a partner. Like if you have, even if you have one partner and you have only one partner for your whole life, the average amount of partners that a person will have in their lifetime is um, four for women and seven, seven for men, okay? So the, that's the average, okay? So even if you date only one, one person and they're good, then you don't need anybody else, right? So whether you're Leonardo DiCaprio and you had 9,000 partners or whether you are, you know, uh, a girl that has a good-looking partner, you don't have to worry because your partner is good looking. It's not like you need 9,000 partners at that point, right? So having one person can be very beneficial rather than dating all these people that maybe don't look that good. Now, looks is not the only thing in a relationship. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So not everybody finds looks the same. Not everybody finds certain things good looking. Other people might not like those things, right? So it's not like you have to worry about what you like because some people like different things beauty is in the eye of the beholder anyway i really think it's important to notice this too i think you know when you have a partner let's say you're married to someone okay and let's say you're not in an open marriage most people wouldn't be i would think but let's say you're not in an open marriage and you have one partner and you really like them you know in general it's a good idea to like them as much as the best looking partner ever or the most rich or whatever you're going to like them and value them more than the general 
more than anybody you've ever been with, right? Whether they're like super gorgeous to everyone or not. Now, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Not everyone likes certain things, right? So, even someone beautiful like me may not be popular to someone, right? Or may not be someone that they like, right? Anyway, guys, I really think it's important to notice that that beauty is in the eye of the beholder and you're going to love your partner. One second, guys, I'm itchy. My leg is itchy. All right, so you have a partner. You have one partner in your life and your partner is maybe not like Mr. S Mr. Gorgeous, right? But you love him like he's Mr. Gorgeous, right? That's the common sense thing to do, right? Or maybe you're not dating she, uh, she beauty, but you like her. You think she's the best, right? Who's going to think their partner is not the best just because they're not like uh, the beauty standard, right? Anyway, totally enjoy the show, guys. Bye, everyone. Bye, darlings.